Named after a constellation, the Lyra Floor Lamp has been released into the market before most can even secure the Gobi Glide onto their wall. With its elegant design, RGB ICWW tech, and range of color temperatures, the Lyra Floor Lamp is a truly multifunctional piece of hardware. For this video, we'll explore and examine the Lyra Floor Lamp from top to bottom, covering off on the specs, the assembly, features, live demonstrations, and finally, we'll wrap it all up with my final thoughts and key takeaways. Hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. Let's kick things off with the specs. The Lyra floor lamp has an input of 100 to 240 volts and an output of 24 volts. As previously mentioned, it features RGB ICWW technology, meaning that in addition to addressable segments, the Lyra has both cool and warm white dedicated chips, which are necessary for RGB light products in order for them to deliver the most accurate color representation. As with the Gobi Aura and the Gobi Flow Pro bars, the Lyra floor lamp has a color temperature range of 2200 Kelvin on the warm end and 6500 Kelvin on the far cool side. However, the Lyra has a lumens rating that is double that of the Aura and the Flow Pro light bars combined, boasting a max rating of 1500 lumens. Fully assembled, the Lyra floor lamp measures 6.8 inches in width and 57 inches or 4.8 feet in height. It has a texture satin aluminum finish and is also comprised of PVC and silicone materials. And finally, the Lyra floor lamp has an initial list price of $149.99, but the lamp is currently being discounted on the Govi website. And as with the Govi Glide wall light, I am working on securing an Amazon promotional discount for you guys, which I'll place down in the description below. Again, when the Lyra is fully assembled, it stands at 4.8 feet, but the box that it ships inside of has a height of 17 inches. So needless to say, there is some assembly required. At a glance, here are all parts and components included inside of the box. There are three lamp poles, which in my experience already had the metal connecting parts inserted beforehand. We have the light source, which is a silicone light strip that measures 47 inches in length and just under one inch in width. There's also the cylinder shaped lamp base, which has a total circumference of roughly 7.5 inches. At the very bottom of the base, there is a rubber pad that keeps the Lyra from sliding around once it's all assembled. And as you can see, there's wiring coming up through the pole channel at the top, which connects directly to the silicone strip. And the final notable detail where the base is concerned is that it is hardwired to the controller, which houses the internal mic and the remote input receiver. And that is a great segue into the wireless remote itself which measures just shy of 4.5 inches in length and 1.5 inches in width. As you can see, it has a very elegant and minimalistic design. There are no red, blue, and green buttons to speak of, just a very neutral, sophisticated look from top to bottom. And rather than using plastic buttons, as with other Govi remotes, the Lyra remote buttons are made out of a soft material that feels a lot like silicone. They're very grippy and feel really nice in the hand. And to top things off, this sleek little remote has a trick up its sleeve and that is that it has a built-in magnet that allows the remote to be attached to the lamp pole using a magnetic control holder. If you're someone that frequently misplaces your remotes, you're really gonna love this feature. It's little details like this that gives the Lyra floor lamp a more premium feel as compared to other Gofi products. Finally, we have two sets of screws that are used for assembly and the power brick adapter, which when connected to the controller cable has a total length of 49 inches. Originally, I was planning on doing a super in-depth overview of the Lyra lamp assembly when I first received my unit a few weeks back. But Govi has since uploaded a very easy to follow installation video guide, which I really wish I could have referenced when I was first assembling mine. But overall, for a hassle-free assembly, just make sure that you don't mix up the three lamp poles. The top lamp pole has a capped head, so you really shouldn't have any issues there, but you can easily mistake the middle lamp pole for the bottom and vice versa. Just keep in mind that the middle lamp pole has widely spaced screw holes and the bottom pole has very closely spaced holes. There are two sets of screws included inside of the box, but you're only gonna be using the short screws and the two identical metal connecting points to link all of the three poles together. And the only time that you'll need to use the longer screws is when you're ready to attach the completed lamp pole to the lamp base using the shortest metal connecting piece. So once that's all set, simply connect the silicone strip to the Lyra base, ensuring that the wire colors match, followed by attaching the silicone strip itself to the lamp pole, first securing a few inches at the bottom, and then a few inches at the top, and lastly at the middle. And then you'll simply complete any unfinished areas before attaching the remote magnet to the pole. Features. 
All right, guys, before we jump into the features, I want to address one thing regarding the placement of the Lyra floor lamp. You see, on the contrary to what you might expect, given the placement of the power cord at the base, the Lyra floor lamp is actually intended to be used with the light source being aimed back at the wall, as with the Govi Flow Pro bars, which Govi has reaffirmed. But of course, this isn't to say that you can't mix things up, depending on the look that you're going for at any given time. We'll talk more on this during the final verdict, but for now, let's get into the features. The Lyra floor lamp can be controlled using Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, and it is compatible with Google Home Assistant, she who shall not be named, and it has if support. But before this device is even paired up with the Govi Home app, the RF remote offers a solid amount of control right at your fingertips. And I cannot stress enough how much I appreciate that Govi designed this remote to operate with an RF signal versus the older IR technology, because the RF signal allows for full 360 operation, meaning that you do not have to physically aim the remote at the wire controller to perform functions. And because of this feature, I like to keep the Lyra remote on my desk, even though the lamp is technically located behind my desk about 12 feet away, so I can operate the remote while it's literally aimed in the opposite direction without even picking it up. Now as for the remote buttons, with a single click, you can swap between the dedicated warm white temperatures, which can go as low as 2200 Kelvin, and the cool white, which can reach a max of 6500 Kelvin. Continuously pressing the warm button lowers the Kelvin temperature, and alternatively, continuing to press the cool button increases it. And as you can see, the color shades are very bright and look really natural. So the Lyra floor lamp is 100% capable of being used to perform tasks such as working and reading, in addition to entertainment enhancement and decor. Both warm and cool buttons on the remote offer five levels of adjustment, and the plus and minus dimmer buttons offer six levels of brightness. The color button in the very center allows you to swap between single solid colors, and the music button will toggle in between all six music presets available via the internal mic on the controller. And last but not least, we have the power on and off button. Now, when you're ready to unlock a wealth of additional features and customization levers, load up the Gobi Home app, available for both iOS and Android users, and search H6072, and the app will clearly walk you through the pairing process. Now, let's take a closer look at the Music tab. As with the Gobi Glide previously reviewed, the Lyra Floor Lamp Music Sync feature operates using either the mic on your cell phone or the internal mic on the controller. The cell phone mic option offers party, dynamic, and calm effects with auto-generated color swaps or a custom single solid color of your choice. The internal mic sync option currently offers the following six preset light effects, which again can also be toggled using the physical remote. Energic, rhythm, bounce, hopping, strike, and vibrate. When using the color tab, you'll have access to eight IC areas that can be controlled and modified independently. The recommended color scheme sub tab works really, really well here because you're allowed to create quick multicolor effects on the fly. You can choose between five style color presets, nine scene motion effects, and five color matching methods. When it comes to the scenes tab, there are currently 25 modes to choose from, and Govi is currently working on adding even more via future updates. And of course, as with many of Govi's RGBIC products, the DIY tab offers the greatest level of customizations. Generate colors using the Smart Color Pick feature, or create entirely unique effects using the preset motions independently. You could even use combinations such as stacking, rainbow, and crossing all together. All right, guys, sit back and enjoy the live demonstration showcasing the Gobi Lyra RGBIC WW floor lamp. Let's get to it.
in my previous review for the Govi Glide wall light, I mentioned that it was not engineered to serve many use case scenarios outside of home and office decor. Well, the same cannot be said about the Gobi Lyra floor lamp because it can fit the bill for quite a bit. But I'm not going to tiptoe around the fact that the Lyra floor lamp is the most expensive light product that Govi has ever put out to date. But on that very same front, it is the largest and most powerful light product from a lumen standpoint as well. And outside of the Lyra, you're going to be hard pressed to find an RGBIC WW floor lamp that has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and voice assistant compatibility. However, if the dynamic scenes, music modes, and customization features are the only things that interest you with this particular device, you can get many of these features with other Govi products that come with smaller price tags. But if you're looking for a one-stop device to serve as your primary driver for your illumination needs, be it office, bedroom, living room, etc., then the Lyra floor lamp just might be what you're looking for. From get-togethers, relaxing, reading, or getting some work done in the home office, the Lyra floor lamp has you covered. And not to mention the modern minimalistic design that gives your living space a sophisticated look before it's even powered on. And I love how well the silicone strip conceals and diffuses the light throughout the enclosure. But with all of that said, if you think that the Lyra floor lamp looks cool, but you really don't see it being a main driver, then perhaps you may want to mold things over a bit more. Now, the biggest gripe that I have for the Lyra floor lamp is by far the design of the power cord, which faces forward when the light source is being aimed back at the wall, which is what it's designed to do. Govi has acknowledged this design flaw as well and mentioned that they're working on a solution. But if there's any positive that comes out of this design, it's that if you're planning on using the Lyra with the light source facing forward, the power cable will be hidden really well. Moreover, while I really do love the cylinder shaped base, it is going to take up a bit more corner space than floor lamps that have an L-shaped design. This is me nitpicking more than anything, but if you have a very tight corner space, this is something that may be of interest. Gripes aside, for a number of reasons that I've mentioned already, the Lyra RGBIC WW lamp is without a doubt the most multifunctional and customizable floor lamp that I have ever used. And it is one of my personal favorite Govi Light products to date, which I think says a lot because I own a lot of Govi products. But I want to know what you guys think about the Govi Lyra floor lamp. Sound off in the comments below. Really hope you guys enjoyed this review and found it helpful. And if you'd like to see more future content like this, make sure to hit the like button, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.